Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Katie McNeil. You've now clicked on the Weather Now link, and let's jump right into it. So as we know, we've been closely monitoring this frontal system that has already begun moving through kind of the beginning stages with some heavy rainfall this evening. But the brunt of the system with the strongest winds and uh, highest rainfall totals isn't going to be until overnight tonight into early Monday morning, kind of infringing with that morning commute. With that, a few updates here as far as advisories and uh, watches across the area. So what was a coastal flood watch is now a coastal flood advisory impacting uh, the coast of Rhode Island and southeastern Mass here, extending up into Narragansett Bay. And kind of the peak of the time that we could see some of these coastal flood impacts would be right around high tide, around 6 a.m. Monday morning. Uh, and with this strong southerly flow coming in, we could see uh, some inundation of around one foot or less of water due to those conditions. We are also under a flood watch. Uh, this is for Sunday night into Monday here with one to three inches of rain across the area. Um, this is going to stay in place until Monday morning as well. And an update with the wind situation. Uh, we now do have a high wind warning across areas of southern Rhode Island, southeastern Mass. This has been extended from what originally was just including Cape Cod, Block Island, Martha's Vineyard, and Nantucket. This has also been expanded to include parts of the Connecticut coastline as well. So people in southern Rhode Island and southeastern Mass here, be aware, especially if you're at the coast, uh, we could see gusts up to 65 miles an hour at times. So... Um, highest wind gusts in these areas in red and brown, seeing gusts up to 50 miles an hour. So still strong, but just not as severe as what we're expecting in the areas in red. Temperatures right now very mild out there in the low 60s and upper 50s throughout the area. Unusual for this time of year in December. 61 right now in Providence, right around 57, 58 at the coast. Taunton a little bit warmer even at 64. Satellite and radar, you can see here now, we're kind of seeing this first band of heavy rainfall moving through the area, but this is not kind of that main window of time that we're talking about with those high wind gusts and heavy rainfall. We are seeing some heavy rainfall now, but the worst is certainly far from over, unfortunately, as we're going to continue to track this into the overnight hours tonight. And let's take a look at kind of what we're anticipating here. So a brief lull after this initial heavy rain that we're seeing right now. But then after 11 o'clock, you see more of these reds, oranges, and yellows come through. And this is kind of uh, the main window we're looking at for potentially the strongest wind gusts is when this what we call a squall line comes through, which could bring some thunderstorms as well. So as this pushes through here, some areas could localize see higher rainfall totals or wind gusts. So especially in those poor drainage areas that we've seen throughout the past several months, something to be mindful of, especially if you are going to be out on the roads at this time. I would recommend avoiding driving during the overnight, but if you have to, these are the conditions that we'll be facing. So for the beginning of the morning commute, kind of between 7 and 9 to 10, we're still going to be seeing these conditions. After that, though, conditions do improve as far as rain. Still looking very gusty, though, in the wake of the system moving offshore. Temperatures, you're going to notice, are also going to drop pretty considerably here, back down into the lower 40s and upper 30s by tomorrow night as the system pushes offshore. So going to feel a big difference in temperatures as well from the beginning of your day tomorrow morning to the end of the day. Let's take a look at those wind gusts again, where strongest wind gusts down in these areas in red here, 50 to 65 miles an hour, they are going to decrease as we head farther inland, but looking at higher potential rainfall total amounts in uh, areas of central Connecticut as well as northwestern uh, Rhode Island. Power outage potential is going to be moderate in the orange here where we're expecting to see those higher wind gusts. And a look at your excessive rainfall as well. This area in red, kind of that area I pinpointed as far as where we could see some higher flooding risks here in the red. Uh, the rest of Rhode Island and southeastern Mass, most of it here, with the exception of this little area in green, are going to be in the slight or level two risk. Forecast for tonight here, we have that 100% ch chance for rain, heavy rain with thunderstorms and strong winds, and could see those high wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour. Your Monday morning, again, starting off inclement uh, between 7 and 9. 
but the showers will start to lessen after 10 o'clock. And then the afternoon actually looking a lot better here. So again, going to be staying windy, but a lot more sunshine. Those temperatures are going to decrease as well. And I'll be here for the rest of the evening with your coverage. So keep checking back in with me. We'll be live at 10 and 11. TJ will also have your forecast first thing tomorrow morning. And in the meantime, you can always get your full forecast anytime at WPRI.com.